Hello. Okay, really quickly before I get started, please excuse my appearance. Um, I wanted to tell you guys that I am releasing a phone case and it's out today. I did a collab with Casefy. I'm really quickly going to show you them. So I have two different cases. I have an Eevee case. Y'all have been asking me to make something Eevee related for so long and here it finally is. It's literally so cute. And then I also have a no more waiting because y'all know I say that a lot. It's my Instagram bio. It's a phrase that means a lot to me. But yeah, the good thing with Casefy is that you can still have my design and like have, um, still make it kind of customizable. So I have an Eevee one with a pink border. This one is probably my favorite. I have this one one with like the black opaque um background yeah um if you guys want to go check them out i'll have the link down below and you can also use the code eevee e e v e e for 10 percent off also with caseify they have different levels of like protection for your phone cases i guess so for every one purchase of an impact case they will be donating one mask to direct relief so yeah i hope you guys like them link is down below Hey girls. <coughs> hey girls. So recently there has been kind of like a trend I guess on YouTube of trying out different things that people saw on TikTok. And so I was kind of thinking, well, what is something that I could do that's like similar to that? I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw a couple of these like supermodel makeup tutorials like Alexa Demi, Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid. Kind of like makeup tutorials that's supposed to give you like that supermodel beat, you know? Why not test this out? Something I saw on TikTok and kind of transform myself to look like this supermodel hot girl. You know where I'm going with this. So I have two different TikToks that I found of tutorials and I saved them a while ago. So I don't really remember exactly what they are. So I'm just going to follow them, kind of test them out, see how they work, and then hopefully get maybe some cute pics. I'm also gonna do a hair and outfit, but I'll probably do that off camera because I don't know what I'm gonna do for my hair. I was gonna do like that Bella Hadid, like side part up into the ponytail, but, icon, icon, icon. but when you have bangs, you can't do that. I've tried it, it doesn't work. Like I said, there's two different videos, so I'm just going to kind of combine the tips from both of them. They don't start off with skincare, so I'm just gonna do that myself. I'm just doing foundation, I mean, moisturizer, sunscreen. Because it's like summer now, I've seen so many people like, posting that they're tanning, which is great. But like, please wear sunscreen, especially on your face. I know like quite a few people that had to get chunks of their nose cut out because they had skin cancer in them from not wearing sunscreen. So if you're gonna go out and tan, do it safely, please. Last thing I'm using are these Glossier drops that don't really do anything. At least I don't think they do, but. It looks like I'm crying. <laughs> Wow. My hair is back, my skin is done, let's start. Okay, starting off in both of them, they both just have their foundation on like normal. Now for step one, pretty much. Concealer is like not super light like I could use it as a foundation. So I don't know how I need a new one I don't know how well that this is going to like lighten up my face because Yeah, I don't know how well this effect is gonna work because her concealer is a lot lighter than her skin and mine literally matches mine Pretty perfect. So let's just do our best. Apparently this is supposed to give you a more lifted look Which I kind of understand like over here would make you look more lifted But if anyone has any good concealer recommendations, let me know. I like this one. It's just not super cool uh, Full coverage. What happened to my shape tape? I swear I had like three different things of shape tape and I don't know where they went Um, okay, you can still see my dark circles like a lot. Um, I think if I had a stronger concealer, this would work a lot better. Why is my nose so red? Okay, moving on. Bake those areas, okay. So I have this white powder right here. I never bake my makeup because, why do I have foundation on this? Where is this coming from? I never bake my makeup because I feel like if I add powder, it like just dries my skin out and it makes it like super creased. I also don't even know how to really do this. I feel like this would be a lot easier with the beauty blender. And without you, I am just a 
Moving on. Okay, now it's time to bronze. So I have, do I have a different bronzer? This bronzer is super red on my skin. Like it just looks, it's not my color at all. I only have this bronzer, so this just, it's gonna have to work. It's what I usually use, but I know it's not really my color. Um, so she says bronze using upward stroke. So only going from here up or from here up. So I'm going to start here. It looks so patchy. Like, I don't know if this bronzer just sucks or if I'm just not good at blending, but like, it looks so patchy. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. Good enough. Moving on, we're using a bake again. I wish I had a sponge or something because I feel like that would just make this a lot easier. Um, she says to bring the bake down and then form it like kind of like a hook to make the your cheeks look fuller. So let's do that. So, her starts at like the top of her ear and then kind of swoops down and then goes like ooh, to her nose. I just feel like I'm wasting my powder. That's done. It's not very noticeable on camera, but I promise it's there. Okay, moving on now, it's time to contour the nose. I'm not bad at this. This is something that is doable for me. So let's see how this goes. She has two lines down the side and then just kind of makes like a circle around the point of her nose and then she blends it out. Okay, this really isn't looking that bad. I'm, in, I'm pretty good at this actually, right? That's not bad. Oh my god, more bake. Yeah, she has a sponge. That is what I need. But for now, I'll have to work with what I have. So. I feel like, is her bake, is her other bake still on? I don't know. And then I need a smaller brush because she has a little bit like right in the middle. So I hope my skin doesn't look so dried out after this from all the powder that I'm using on it because I never use powder ever unless it's eyeshadow. Okay, now it's time to wipe everything away. Finally, thank God. I feel like it's still there. My nose kind of does look snatched though, I can't lie. Okay, okay, I feel like it's starting to come together a little bit. So then she does a nose highlight with a powder and then a little bit of blush as well. Add a little bit of blush first and then... Oh, she put blush on the rest of her face too, okay. It's not looking bad so far. I feel like the thing that like is really throwing me off is my eyebrows, cause like, look at that. That looks horrendous. Her skin looks so dewy and like mine just looks so dried out. Like I'm telling y'all, powder is literally like, it's not good for my skin. So she adds highlight and then it also says, add a little bit of highlight to your temples. So I can do that. She probably has the beauty filter on TVH and that's why her skin literally looks so flawless. Getting on to my favorite part, she says, go with a messy slash feathered brow, my specialty. So I'm just gonna do my eyebrows like I usually do, just fill them in a little bit, add a little bit of chapstick. This Burt's Bees is not compared to the regular one at all. Like it's just not as good. I really wanna try, have you guys seen like people use like those bars of soap for their eyebrows? I think that is right up my alley and I think I need to get one because I love the way that it looks. For the eyes, she says, keep eyes neutral and smoky, but she doesn't give like a tutorial. I'm on my own for my eyes pretty much because she doesn't really give that much tutorial, which is perfectly fine. I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna try and copy her. TikTok genuinely is such a weird place. People just have a lot of nerve on TikTok. I made this TikTok about, okay, so there's this trend on TikTok where it's like, you know that Hannah Montana song that's like, I'm just an ordinary girl. I wish that they could see that underneath I'm just an ordinary girl Sometimes I'm lazy, I get bored I get scared, I feel ignored I feel happy, I get silly I choke on my own words At the beginning of my junior year I went to my first football game and this girl like filmed me and like made a YouTube video and like put me in like the title and the thumbnail. I don't know if I've ever talked about that in a video before. Like it's just funny. Like I think back on it and laugh. Like it really like wasn't a big deal. But basically I said that um like when a girl films you and like puts you in her YouTube video or something and then the song is like I'm just an ordinary girl, you know, just acting like oh like I'm just like a normal girl. You get what I'm saying? And I think it landed on the for you page because 
I got a lot of comments being like, am I supposed to know who you are? Like, who even is this girl? And it's just so funny, because it's like, obviously, if you don't know who I am, like, just keep scrolling. Like, that TikTok was directed towards people who know, like, you guys, you know, my friends that follow me on TikTok. And it also wasn't even that deep. Like, it was a joke. <laughs> like, you can't make a serious TikTok to a Hannah Montana song. Moral of the story, TikTok is all fun and games and jokes until you make a joke and then people can't take it and act like you have a big ego when it was a joke. But I don't know, it's just funny, like that TikTok is literally just flooded with like people being so rude. I'm like, for what? What is your issue? This girl also commented, <laughs> this girl also commented on there and was like, wow, <laughs> what was it? She was like, wow, you have so much confidence. Like I never post when I look ugly. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> um, her account was private. So I was like, well, you got a lot of nerve, girl. Okay, honestly though, my face, like, it's not looking too bad. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a brown liner. I like doing eyeliner with eyeshadows. I feel like it just like lit, like it's just a really cool look. I don't know. I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna try and attempt like a little bit of like a wing. Anyways, moral of my story is don't be so mean on TikTok. This isn't even directed at you guys. Maybe some of you are mean on TikTok. Don't do that, it's annoying. Should I add a liquid wing on top? I feel like this is just not dark enough. Okay, let me just start on the other eye and see where we're going. I do wanna do the little in the corner thing because that is one of my favorite looks. I think it's so cute. Not bad. I need a Q-tip to sharpen that up, so. Okay, I'm gonna do mascara in a minute. I'm just gonna finish this off. She says nude eyeliner, I mean, nude lip liner and clear gloss. Found a different bronzer I could have used. So I'm just gonna line my lips and add this um, gloss. Does anyone else, okay. You know how people like round out their cupid's bow? I think it's so cute, but my cupid's bow is so like sharp, I feel like, that whenever I do it, it just looks so bad. Like it's so pointy that I can't draw over it. It literally, oh my God, it doesn't round out and it looks so bad. I should probably just wipe that away. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter above my lip and then I'm gonna do everything else with camera. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, the straps on this dress are like really far apart. So I am ready. I think I want to try and take some kind of like runway, not runway-ish looking pictures. I don't know how to explain it. I just want some cute pictures that look like I'm a freaking model. I got my bangs down. I have these little, this little hairstyle going on. I feel like that's really popular. I see like Bella Hadid do it all the time. And I think it's super cute. But yeah, this is my finished face. Honestly, I really like it. I feel like my nose looks like absolutely snatched. I can't lie. I don't know. I'm just gonna fill it myself. I can give you Paris Hilton. I can give you Janet. I can give you Bjork, but I don't think you'd understand it. I can give you sex doll, bet you love these legend lips. And maybe I can give you model with these double A cup sets. Ew. Icon. So that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like combination of like transforming myself into a supermodel and also, I shouldn't say transforming myself. Like I know I'm not a supermodel. I don't want people to come for me and be like, wow, she thinks she's hot. I do think I'm really cute, but I know I'm not like on Alexa Demi's level in any way, shape or form. What else? Oh, the second kind of concept is like following the TikTok tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you guys want me to try more like testing things I saw on TikTok. I know people are doing like clothing stores, stuff like that. So I would be more than happy to do that. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>